And I am uh, very much pleased to introduce our last uh, speaker today. Uh, this is Dr. Jan um, Molema. Uh, he is, uh, uh, um, uh, studied here in the TU Delft and he worked for, I think, nearly for 35 years uh, at the Faculty of Architecture. And he is now retired and he mostly known in the Netherlands because of his uh, uh, research on uh, modern New woman, new woman with the architects like uh, Dijker, uh, Beifert and uh, Wibbenhaar, but also on his pioneering uh, studies of uh, Catalonian architect uh, Antonio Gaudí. Uh, again, Hans von Lochem was one of those architects, Dutch modern architects, um, who invited to come um, to um, the Soviet Union, but in a, in a different way, because he had his friend uh, Rutgers, uh, Sibold Rutgers, an engineer, um, who came from Indonesia, went to uh, Siberia and restarted the um, existing coal mining industry. Um, what I can show now is um, this map on which you see the river Tom, and there's this line. Do you see it now? Yeah? No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 we see, we see it good, yes. This way, yeah, it's, it, it is the connection, it's the railway to um, the other uh, famous uh, uh, Magnitogorsk, and uh, a very strange thing was that they br brought the coal from here to Magnitogorsk, and the, and the iron from Magnitogorsk to Kimero. Um Doesn't seem to, uh, very reasonable, but this is how it was. So. Han Verlochem only worked there for two years and then they sent him um, away because he was too progressive. Um, uh, um, one of the um, uh, buildings he managed to, um, to, uh, uh, to construct and uh, finish is the school, um, which was then built on the other side of the river in this uh, colony. Um, partly in, in, in wood, as you say, and partly in, in concrete, as, as he wrote. Um, now, uh, so now I want to explain just a few things. One is about, let's say, the, the use of proportional systems in, um, in architecture. Um, and the other is about what, um, um, and, uh, and, and about schools, and also what Van Lochem uh, has built uh, afterwards. You see here the typical Dutch elementary school. In when I went to the, the school on the right, that's my um, uh, elementary school where I spent seven years, um, and without knowing that this had a special uh, style. Uh, on the left you see um, a different one, which has this little tower. I think we can go back, and you see in the here. In, um, that also, well, you see the same system, so to say, of uh, uh, seven classes, and there is a gym, and then there's also, so the gym is here, and there's this water tower, which in, I think here in, in Groningen, in the north of the country, uh, in the, our country, um, will have, um, have a, a sort of storage, I don't know, but anyway, the type is, is clear, so, this is the um, uh, ground plan in which sometimes the, the corridor would be on this side. Sometimes, as you see in my school, it's on the other side, which is the north side of the building. So this school, in this example, you see the, the gym here, and there's the, uh, there are a few rooms for the head of the school, the headmaster, and, well, the rest is clear. So this is, so which means that in the mid, mid uh, uh, Siberia, there all of a sudden is a Dutch school type, uh, which is extraordinary in itself. Um, it, now, the thing is that, come on, I want to, uh, to show you two totally different schools, but this is because I know them, and this one is, as you see, by Gaudi, 1909, uh, is, uh, 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 an elementary school, which has this um, um, plan, um, and I show it because I found out that there is a sp specific um, relationship between the, um, the, the, the lot of um, the, um, uh, where the building is built, which has this 
a bit of strange form. It's a truncated corner, which is usual in uh, Barcelona, as you may know, which has a, a, a precise um, uh, dimension, which is uh, 14 root of 2 or 19, uh, 82 um, meters. And the school has the same dimensions. So, so the, um, I want to be precise um the the architects the who are building the Sagrada Familia say that this is 20 meters uh, by 10. Um, I found out that must be 1982 and half of it, um, which is just a, a very sh a small difference. But I think it's it's very important also because I found in in other um, um, examples the same, let's say, methods and the same preciseness, which uh, probably in Russia was not common. Uh, and this is probably, this is one of the problems that um, Van Lochem may have had with the Russians, that he wanted uh, all the, uh, the buildings to build, be built too precise for their methods. Well, this is, the, as you see, the Open Air School in Amsterdam by Bayfoot and Duiter. Exactly the same time as the school by Van Lochen, uh, Van Lochen built in uh, Kimmerer. And here we find a different, um, well, it's, no, I'm sorry. Um, the, the, I think the way they, um, um, Bayfoot and Duiker, uh, planned where to build, where to uh, put the, the building within the courtyard the, the, that was to be built. So it's in the courtyard. And it has, it's not right in the center because the sun is from the, coming from this side. So you, so it's put as, uh, in the northern part of the, um, um, of the, of the um, patio. Uh, but there is a relationship between the, the, the dimension the, of the, the classroom, which is 720, and, and the whole um, area. But it's, so there is a basic measure of, in this case, of 370 and 85, uh, 185, 185, uh, um, 370, se 7 meters 4, etc. cetera. Um, why is this important to mention? Because we found out, and I have to explain a bit, the, uh, go back in our history, if I found um, as, um, the way in which um, Van Lossum um, designed uh, decided the, the dimensions, um, the proportions, and the site, the, the precise uh, site on the lot uh, of this building. Here you see two uh, villas, and um, I have to explain that, um, how did we start with uh, Van Lossum? Um, at a certain moment, uh, I could not um, uh, continue working with students on our project, and uh, I had um, then so, um, uh, Rudolfine Echink came to write her thesis, doctoral thesis, and she was born in the house of Van Lossum. And so she said, I want to um, find out more about Van Lossum, so we have to go to Siberia. So that was why I had to go there. And knowing Maria Magagonova, uh, we decided to, um, to, um, um, to, uh, de uh, that she would come with us because we didn't speak Russian, of course. We didn't know anything about Russia. And it was quite difficult in those, sorry, quite difficult in those years because just the money, you know, we had 3 million rubles with us. Can you imagine? We found, found ourselves uh, uh, very rich, but we weren't, of course. Well, anyway, back to uh, uh, Van Lochem. What I have not done in Siberia is to find, try and find the, the, uh, where the, the building sits on it, well, the school in this case. So, but um, just uh, and, uh, much more to, we, I, I made, not because I think it's the only um, uh, or most, um, uh, most important thing in architecture, but the dimensions and proportions, as you know, many people are interested in it, and many people think that 
um, the golden section, as we call it, is the most important and the most valuable proportion uh, that you can have in, arch in architecture. But this is not true because you can reduce it. It's, it's, it's not a proportion that you can find in materials like brick, and you, it's not a proportion that you, you can easily use in, in dimensioning, in, in proportioning your, your building. Um, anyway, if you want to know more about that, if you need to, then I would recommend to read um, this uh, book, Grundlagen und Entwicklung der Architektur. Uh, this is special, especially for, for uh, Anke, of course. Um, in which Berlage explains how he um, 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 proportioned in his most famous building, uh, the Beurs, which has a, a, a basic uh, proportions of eight to five, which is 1.6, which is nearly the golden section, but it is practical. Um, so I think that um, also uh, Van Lochem Try to work, or uh, indeed, um, although I, I never, we never have found in his writings anything about it, but for one little thing I just uh, will, I'll show you uh, after this uh, slide. Um, the, um, so it, it's all sort of interpretation and that I m uh, made on the basis of what we found in, in, his, in, uh, in, in the plans of, the, of the, the buildings that he has designed. And we have, do not have a plan of this in this school. But you see, there is something in these. Um, oh, well, have you seen the difference between um, here and here? They did something with the, with the tower, which contains the, uh, the water uh, um, uh, reservoir. Um, you see that there is um, uh, a sort of precise um, um, windows um, um, in this building. My English. my English is not so good as the one who was talking before, before me. <laughs> but anyway, here's the last slide to make it short. Um, Van Lochem. Um, um, uh, published the book in 1934, if, no, 36, sorry, in which it shows this, the same school um, just before finish, uh, being finished. And he says something about the glass, that the glass, glass panes couldn't be larger than 61 to 61 centimeters. Now, if you um, allow to have the, how you call this, the, between the, the panes, this piece of wood um, being one and a half centimeters, um, um, the, 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 um, the uh, space that you need for it, you have 62, uh, which brings you to 125, to 250, etc., uh, etc. Et and these are the uh, dimensions that we found in a, um, a document um, that was, well, that was found in a document in the archive of the factory in uh, Kemerova. So, apparently Van Lochem decided to make the, the city extension, or the new cities and the new village uh, around probably, uh, to use one proportional system which was based on, uh, well, not on the glass panes, of course, but it, it, uh, it, it, um, it fits uh, perfectly in the, in, in the same, which uh, I mean to say that, so if you have to, t uh, to take one centimeter or two meters 50, I don't know which was the uh, basic measure, but there is this um, proportional um, system of uh, the half and half and half. So at least uh, without being able to prove that Van Lochem had a complete um, design system, which he was applying all, the, all, uh, all his life, there are these two things, which is one is the, the proportions of a building are the direct results of proportions of the lot. And the lot may be like 26 by 
41, and then he moved May 25 to 40 to have a, a simpler uh, proportion between the, the two. And so the, the house would be eight, is the, the plan. That's, um, I think this is about what I wanted to, 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 um, to tell you because 